Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. Before going to start today's topic, just think about today's world, that is modern world. With the advent of fast technology, the world becomes a global village. In this global village, now we have so many ways to transfer the information instantly. And with the advent of fast technology, nowadays we have so many ways to exchange the information with the help of so many gadgets and so many other resources. But just think about the stone age when people don't know about the written script and even each and every tribe's language is different. So it's very critical for them to exchange the information. So present story how the first letter was written. In this particular story, the author Rudyard Kipling told us an interesting account that how exactly the first letter was written. This story which revolves around the communication system or you can say the ways of transforming the information. So here remember without wasting the time we are going to see this interesting story of Rudyard Kipling and the title of present story is How the First Letter Was Written. So, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, ko subscribe nahi kiya hai, please to subscribe our channel for new and innovative learning of English language. And don't forget to press the bell icon. Please to subscribe. So, let's see the first paragraph here. Before that, it's very important to solve the warming up activities. So, among these three questions, we are going to solve only one question here because other two, two questions are related with the group activities. So it's not possible for us to conduct the group activities here. So let's see the first question here that is in warming up activity. List the materials that mean has used for the following purposes in the different ages. So we all know it very well that in different ages, people are using different things they are using different weapons they are using different fuel they are using different utensils they are you they are they used to eat different food and they used to wear different types of the clothes so on the basis of the given points you have to think about three important ages the first one is neolithic age neolithic means later stone age this is the period which is after the stone age later stone age and after that we have to think about the first century that is CE and you have to think about in the last column which is all about the modern age or modern era. So let's see that the first point here that is weapons. So which kind of the weapons these people had used. So one point is given for you that is in the weapon point Neolithic age in this particular age people they used stone bones or animal teeth to create their own weapons and of course in the first century ce people had changed the material of the weapons and now they used iron weapons it means they used the other metal that is iron to create their weapons it means they updated themselves and they had used the iron weapons in modern ages weapons or in this particular category, you will get so many things. Today we have the chemical weapons, right? Today we have steel weapons. Today we have gunpowder weapons. It means so many things nowadays people are using as the weapons. So here remember this is all about the weapons. But what about the fuel? Fuel in the Neolithic age, that time people, they used fuel in what way? They rubbing up to flint stones and Later wood, any egg to sleep ke upper egg, ghis ke do patthar ya phir aise patthar jo flint hai, aise ghis ke patthar ho kya karte the, aag lagani ki koshish karte the. And for them, this is the only fuel. They don't know about the crude oil. They don't know about the other things, maybe coal, maybe ghee. They don't know about it. And in the first century, see people are now using the wood and oil as the fuel. And in the modern age, nowadays people are using crude oil, 
they are using gas they are using coal they are using ghee so many things people are nowadays using as the fuel but what about the utensils so utensils are also having the different categories because nowadays whatever the utensils we are using in our home this utensils are totally different if we compared them with the neolithic age and the post century ce okay so here in the neolithic age people had used pots spoons made from barks of trees so they had generally used the barks of trees to create their utensils so they created pots they created the spoons okay so all these things they made with the help of the barks of trees but in the first century ce people had used iron and brass utensils it means now they understood the importance of the metals and now they had used the iron and the brass metal to create their utensils and nowadays people are using different types of the utensils which made with the glass iron and steel or maybe plastic so such kind of the material nowadays people are using to create the utensils but what about the food it means of course remember now we all know it very well that today we eat cooked food okay but in stone age or later of stone age that is neolithic age people barely sorry barley is they are eating barley then wheat is there meat is there and they had not cooked the food you know it very well maybe these things we have studied in your history okay and in first century c people had used wide variety of crops and today people had used various kinds of the food items it is nowadays people are people used to eat so many food items right cooked food generally we are using today but in the previous period people had not used cooked food okay and in the last point last point here we need to think about the clothes so of course there is a lot of revolution in the clothes as well right because in the previous era or you can say neolithic age or in the stone age people had used animal skin as the clothes they used dry leaves of the plants and they used the minimal clothes it means they don't know about the exact clothes but in the first century ce people had started to use cotton clothes and nowadays so much variety is there in the clothes right in the modern era people had used cotton silk polyester and other type of the material to create their clothes so it means there is a drastic change in each and every point given here weapons fuel utensil food clothes so much difference is there so this is all about the revolution which is gradually happened it means revolution ek din mein nahi hota so this is the evolution process and this process is all the time all the time continuously this process is going on so here remember this is this is all about the first question of warming up activities so after this we are going to see the main story which is so interesting funny and comic and of course which highlights that how people interprets the messages according to their own perspective according to their own understanding so here remember we are going to see the story that is how the first letter was written before that let's see something about the background of this particular story in this particular paragraph you will get to know about the central characters of this particular story So let's see once upon a most early time was a neolithic man and he lived cavely in a cave of course neolithic generation or the neolithic people they were used to live in the caves so one of the person is there and he lived in the cave and he wore very few clothes because they don't know much about the clothes so they had used the animal skin or maybe leaves of the leaves of the trees and he couldn't read and he couldn't write and he didn't want to and except when he was hungry he was quite unhappy sorry quite happy it means apart from hungry hungriness it means remember when usko jab bhook lagti thi tabhi wo kya hote the they were actually restless but apart from this particular state of the body 
they were extremely happy it means they don't want to study they don't want to write they don't want to read anything they, they don't want they just would like to enjoy their life and of course remember that this person was extremely happy in this particular state in this condition mein ye insaan bahut happy tha right and his name was tegumai bopusulai okay what's his name tegumai tegumai bopusulai okay and that means man who does not put his foot forward in a hurry it means aisa insaan ki jo apna ya apne jo kadam hai वो सोच सोच समझ के समझ के ही आगे क्या करता है बढ़ाता है इवन दिस पर्सन इज डूइंग ऑल द थिंग्स आफ्टर थिंकिंग ए लॉट अबाउट दिस सिचुएशन सो दिस पर्सन इज क्लियरली द एग्जांपल ऑफ पेशेंस इन वन वर्ड हियर वी हैव द क्वेश्चन टू द मार्च इन साइड दैट गिव वन वर्ड फॉर द मीनिंग्स ऑफ ईच ऑफ द नेम्स द फर्स्ट नेम और द फर्स्ट कैरेक्टर हियर दैट इज टेंगु मई बोफ सो दिस पर्सन is always thinking before taking any kind of the decision so this person if in one word if you like to explain his character you can say this is the example of patience what is it patience okay and but we oh best beloved will call him tegumai it means we call him this particular person as the tegumai okay for short and his wife's name was teshumai tevindro What is her name? Teshu Mai Tevindro, and that means lady who asks a very many questions. And that means lady who asks a very many questions. But we, oh best beloved, will call her Teshu Mai for short. हम उन्हें हम उसे क्या बुलाएंगे? Teshu Mai, okay? And Teshu Mai's character, if you think about her character, if you like to explain her character in one word, so you can say. that she is curious all the time she would like to ask the questions about so many things wo bahut sare questions puchti hai aur uski wajah se hum use kya keh sakte hain that this is the example of curiosity okay this is the example of curiosity remember that okay and here remember we called her that is teshumai now the third important character we are going to discuss that is and their little daughter the little girl daughter's name was tafiumai metalumai okay tafiumai metalumai and that means small person without any manners who out to be spanked it means this is the character of the little girl whose name was was tafiumai and we call this particular girl taffy okay remember her name is taffy we called her taffy in this particular story and she was tegumai's bobsulai's best beloved and her own mummy's best beloved and she was not spanked half as much as was good for her and they were all three were happy it means all these characters all three characters were extremely happy in their life and here remember if you would like to explain the character of tafiumai metalumai so you can say she is totally naughty in one word you can say she is naughty okay so now remember asal story abhi shuru hoti hai it means now you have to pay attention and you have to listen this story so now attend and listen listen the story before that we have the question in the margin side that is who is the author telling this story to so the author is telling this particular story to the readers it means aapko hame ye jo author hai who is the author do you remember his name his name was rudyard kipling okay and in this beautiful story he would like to tell us that how people misunderstood the message if they don't have the common background okay so let's see the actual story of how the first letter was written so let's see the first paragraph here one day tegu mai bobsulai went down through the beaver spam, beaver spam beaver spam to the wagai river to spare carp fish for dinner and taffy went to it means at the beginning of the story tegu mai bobsulai he went down through the beaver swamp beaver swamp means daldal ka area daldal ka ilaka jahan pe 
देर वेर ऑल द टाइम फ्लडेड काइंड ऑफ द सिचुएशन इज दैर और ये जो एरिया होता है जहां पे पानी और कीचड़ मिक्सअप होता है सो दैट पर्टिकुलर एरिया इज कॉल्ड एज बी वो स्वैम सो ही वेंट देर एंड ऑफकोर्स ही वेंट टू दिस पर्टिकुलर एरिया विथ हिज डॉटर टैफी टैफी को वो साथ में लेके चला गया बिकॉज ही वुड लाइक टू स्पियर कार फिश कार फिश दिस इज अ काइंड ऑफ फिश जो वो क्या करना चाहते हैं पकड़ना चाहते हैं डिनर के लिए वो अपने ये जो फिश है वो, वो क्या करना चाहते हैं पकड़ना चाहते हैं और उन्हें अच्छी तरह से पता है कि इस एरिया में ही इस तरह के फिश उन्हें मिलेंगे सो दे वेंट दर बट वॉट एग्जैक्टली हैपन्ड लेस सी दैट टेगू माई स्पियर वॉज मेड ऑफ वुड एंड विथ शार्क स्ट्रीट एट द एंड टेगू मिस स्पेयर यानी उसका जो भाला था वो किस चीज से बना था दिस पर्टिकुलर स्पेयर वॉज मेड ऑफ वुड वुड से बना हुआ था एंड लकड़ी से बना हुआ था एंड एट द एंड टू किल द फिश ही हैड यूज द शार्क स्टीथ यानी उसके आगे के कोने पे क्या लगा हुआ था शार्क का एक बड़ा सा दांत या टीथ जिसे हम कह सकते हैं वो लगा हुआ था ओके एंड ही रिमेम्बर दैट वॉट एग्जैक्टली हैपन दैन एंड बिफोर ही हैड कॉट एनी फिश एट ऑल ही एक्सीडेंटली ब्रोक इट क्लीन एक्रॉस बाय जापिंग इट डाउन टू हार्ड ऑन द बॉटम ऑफ द रिवर इट मीन्स वन ऑफ द वन ऑफ द बैड थिंग वॉज हैपन्ड एंड ड्यू टू दी जापिंग जापिंग मीन्स यानी जब वो मछली पकड़ने की कोशिश कर रहा था उस वक्त उसने मछली पे वार करते समय उसका जो भाला था वो उसने जोर से यानी रिवर की तरफ फेंका और रिवर की तरफ मारा और उसकी वजह से उसका जो स्पेयर था वो क्या हो गया टूट गया इट वॉज ब्रोकन डाउन एंड ऑफकोर्स अभी तक उसने एक भी मछली पकड़ी हुई नहीं थी एंड ड्यू टू दैट दे वेर माइल्स एंड माइल्स फ्रॉम होम एंड टेगू में हैड फॉर गॉटन टू ब्रिंग एनी एक्स्ट्रा स्पेयर्स सो दिस पर्सन हैड फॉर गॉट टू ब्रिंग टू स्पेयर्स विथ हिम यानी वो दूसरा भाला अपने साथ में लाना भूल गया था एंड दे वेर सो फार फ्रॉम द प्लेस यानी वो अपने घर से मैलों दूर तक चले आए थे और उसकी वजह से वो अपने घर तक भी वापस जाके दूसरा स्पेयर लेके नहीं आ सकते थे सो हियर इज अटल ऑफ फिश से टेगू मई इट मीन्स ही हैज द होप दैट हियर यू डेफिनेटली ही विल गेट दी सो मेनी फिशेस और कार फिश बट ऑफकोर्स रिमेम्बर नाउ दिस इज अ वेरी डिफिकल्ट टाइम फॉर हिम बिकॉज ही स्पेयर वॉज ब्रोकन broken down and it will take me half the day to mend this and the problem is now that is it theek karne mein is bhale ko theek karne mein abhi pure din mein se aadha din nikal jayega aisa use lagta hai and he is thinking about to repair this particular spear now okay it's too far for your little fat sorry there is your big black spear at home say taffy it means when Tegu me said that here is a pretty kettle of fish that time Taffy said to him that there is your big black spear at home yani unke ghar me ek black color ka ek bada sa bhala hai jo ki unke ghar me reh gaya hai so she she, she just suggesting him that let me run back to the cave and ask mummy to give it give it to me so now remember she is giving the advice or she is giving the suggestion to her father that she will go back to the home and she will bring the spear wo bhag kar wo kehti hai ki main bhag ke chali jati hu aur mummy se jo dusra spear hai jo bada sa big black color ka jo spear hai wo ghar se main leke aati hu so that time what was the response of the tegu mai let's see that is too far for your little fat legs say tegu mai tegu mai said that it's too far yani तुम यहां से अपने घर तक नहीं जा सकती सफर बहुत लंबा है या हम बहुत दूर तक चले आए चले आए हुए हैं एंड फॉर योर लिटिल फैट लेग्स इट्स नॉट पॉसिबल टू रन टू दैट पर्टिकुलर प्लेस यानी इतनी दूर तक ये जो दूरी है तय करना तुम्हारे लिए बहुत मुश्किल काम है सो बिसाइड्स यू माइट फॉल इन टू द बीवर स्वैम्प एंड बी ड्राउंड यानी ऐसा भी हो सकता है कि तुम इस बीवर स्वैम्प में गिर जाओ और डूबने के भी चांसेस हैं, यानी तुम इसमें डूब भी सकती हो सो वी मस्ट वी मस्ट मेक द बेस्ट ऑफ ए बैड जॉब सो ही जस्ट सजेस्टिंग हर दैट नाउ वी हैव टू डू समथिंग यानी जो 
सिचुएशन सिचुएशन आई हुई है उसको हैंडल करके हमें कुछ ना कुछ करना पड़ेगा ही सैट डाउन एंड टुक आउट ए लिटल लेदर मेंडी बैग फुल ऑफ रेंजियस सिन्यूज एंड स्ट्रिप्स ऑफ लेदर एंड लम्स ऑफ बीज वैक्स एंड रेसिन एंड बिगैन टू मेंड दिस पेयर तो उसने क्या किया अपने पास जो एक थैली है उसके पास उसे निकाला और उसमें से उसने रेंटियस सिन्यूज रेंटियस सिन्यूज मीन्स उसके जो रेंडियर के बाल होते हैं जो बाल या जिस बालों से उन्होंने रस्सी बनाई हुई थी तो ऐसे छोटे छोटे उसने क्या किए अपने स्ट्रिप्स जो थे लेदर के वो बाहर निकाले एंड लम्स ऑफ बीज वैक्स और उसे कनेक्ट करने के लिए उसे चिपकाने के लिए उसने बीज वैक्स जो है उसके पास उस बैग में वो भी उसने बाहर निकाला ही Just use the resin and beeswax to to stick those particular sinews and strips of the leather to the spear, and he began this particular work to mend the spear. Mend means to repair. तो अपने भाले को वो क्या करने लगा? Repair करने की कोशिश करने लगा. जो भी सामान उसके पास है, उसकी मदद से वो क्या करने लगा है? अपना spear अच्छा करने की कोशिश करने लगा है. Swamp means this is the marshy land. Marshy means daddal ka area. A pretty kettle of fish means a messy situation was there, because of course this is now the time to, time to, time to gain the fish. But of course, remember due to the broken spear, it's not possible to kill the car fish at the simultaneous time. Okay, so let's see the this is a messy situation for them and how they exactly handle the situation. Now we are going to see कि किस तरह से उन्होंने इस situation को handle किया. So let's see the next paragraph here. In this next paragraph, let's see Taffy sat down too. Of course, remember now she don't have the, don't have the, any kind of the work. And so Taffy sat down too with her toes in the water and her chin in her hand and thought very hard. So Taffy is now thinking about the situation. और इस situation से कैसे निकलेंगे इसके बारे में वो सोच रही है अपने पैरों को उसने पानी में छोड़ दिया है एंड हर चिन इन हर हैंड तो ऐसे करके वो बैठी हुई है एंड नाउ शी इज थिंकिंग अबाउट द सिचुएशन एंड शी सेड टू हर डैड दैट आई से डैडी इट्स एन ओफुल न्यूसेंस दैट यू एंड आई डोंट नो हाउ टू राइट इज इंट इट इफ वी डिड वी कुड सेंड अ मैसेज फॉर द न्यूज पेयर so now remember she is thinking or she is just giving the suggestion अगर हमें पढ़ना लिखना आता तो कितना अच्छा होता क्योंकि अगर हमें पढ़ना लिखना आता तो हम क्या कर सकते थे हम संदेशा जो है वो लिख के मदर तक भेज सकते थे और हम उसके उसके हाथों से क्या कर सकते थे एक दूसरा भाला भी मंगवा सकते थे but now due to this particular problem they were unable to do this particular thing so just then a strange man came so this is the next character fourth important character that is the strange man this person came along the river yani us kinare pe yani us river ke kinare pe nadi ke kinare pe ye jo insaan hai wahan pe use dikhai diya kisko taffy ko but he belonged to a far tribe it means this person is not belonging to the tribe of the tegume okay he belongs to other tribe which is far फार मीन्स बहुत दूर के किसी अलग ट्राइब से जो इंसान था वो बिलोंग करता था एंड ही डिड नॉट अंडरस्टैंड वन वर्ड ऑफ टेक लैंग्वेज सो दिस इज द बेसिक प्रॉब्लम बिकॉज वी ऑल नीट वेरी वेल थाउजेंड्स ऑफ लैंग्वेजेस वी हैव इन द वर्ल्ड पूरी दुनिया में हजारों तरह की लैंग्वेजेस हैं और हमें भी पता है कि हम अगर किसी एरिया में ऐसे चले जाए ऐसे ऐसे एरिया में चले जाए कि जहाँ की लैंग्वेज हमें पता नहीं है सो सो मेनी प्रॉब्लम वेर देर ओके एंड ऑफकोर्स द सेम प्रॉब्लम इज देर नाउ बिकॉज दिस पर्सन बिलोंग्स टू ए फार ट्राइब एंड दिस ट्राइब्स नेम इज द टेवारस वट इज इट द टेवारस ओके दिस पर्सन बिलोंग्स टू द ट्राइब एंड दिस ट्राइब्स नेम इज द टेवारस ओके एंड ही डिड नॉट अंडरस्टैंड वन वर्ड ऑफ टेगू मईज लैंग्वेज और उसे एक भी वर्ड उस टेगुमेज की लैंग्वेज का आता नहीं है और या उसे बोल नहीं पाता ही स्टूड ऑन द बैंक एंड स्माइल्ड एट टैफी और किनारे पे खड़ा रह के वो टैफी की तरफ देख के हंस रहा है बिकॉज ही हैड ए लिटिल गर्ल डॉटर ऑफ हिज वोन एट होम क्योंकि उसके घर में भी टैफी जितनी ही एक छोटी गर्ल उसकी है छोटी बेटी उसकी है और उसकी वजह से वो उस छोटी लड़की को देख के टैफी को देख के वो क्या कर रहा है 
मुस्कुरा रहा है सो टेगु मई ड्रीव ए हैंक ऑफ डियर सीन्यूज फ्रॉम हिज मेंडी बैग एंड बिगैन टू मैंड हिज स्पीयर बट टेगु मई का उसके ऊपर ध्यान नहीं है यानी उसके उसे पता ही नहीं कि कौन सा इंसान वहां पे आया हुआ है सो टेगु मई अटेंशन वॉज नॉट देयर सो टेगु मई ड्रीव ए हैंक ऑफ डियर सीन्यूज एंड हिज ट्राइंग हिज लेवल बेस टू मैंड हिज स्पेयर so to the marchin side we have one question in the uh, which question is that why had taffy stamped her foot so why is taffy sat down to and stamped her foot this answer you will get in the next paragraph what did the stranger make of it so you will get the answer of this particular question into the next paragraph okay so we'll discuss it afterwards so let's move forward and let's see in what way they had solved the problem so come here said taffy so taffy asked this particular stranger this particular stranger person to come here to come close yani wo apne paas aane ke liye us insaan ko kehti hai aur usse wo baat chit karne ki koshish karti hai aur usse wo kehti hai do you know where my mummy lives yani tumhe pata hai ki meri mother kahan pe rehti hai and the stranger man said hmm it means he didn't understand what exactly taffy said टैफिन जो उसे बोला है उसे कुछ भी समझ में नहीं आया है ओके सो सिली से टैफी वो कहते कि तुम बहुत सिली हो एंड शी स्टैंड हो फूड बिकॉज शी सॉ ए शोल ऑफ वेरी बिग कार्प गोइंग अप द रिवर जस्ट वेन हर डैडी कुडंट यूज हिज स्पेयर वाई शी टैप्ड हर फूड बिकॉज तभी उसे नदी में से ऊपर आने वाले जो कार फिश का एक झुंड है तो उसे दिखाई दिया It means stamped her foot because she saw a shul. Shul means shul means what? Jhund. यानी मछलियों का जो झुंड है उसे दिखाई दिया. And she was extremely unhappy because now her father is not able to kill the carp fish because his spear was totally broken. And due to that, she stamped her feet. And here remember that this person what he gets from it. that he gets this particular thing from he, from this particular situation that this girl is the daughter of this noble man who is the noble man he thought like that ki use lagta hai ki ye jo tegu mai hai wo ek noble man hai and of course she is the daughter of this particular person good person and so that's why remember he is standing there and he is smiling towards the taffy taffy ki taraf dekh ke wo kya kar raha hai muskura raha hai so That time, what exactly happened? Let's see. That don't bother grown-ups," said Tegu Mai, so busy with his spare mending that he did not turn around. So, अपना जो भाला है वो अच्छा करने की वो कोशिश कर रहा है उसे यानी उसे अच्छा करने की उसे mend करने की repair करने की कोशिश कर रहा है और वो कहता है कि बड़े लोगों को तुम तकलीफ देना बंद कर दो किसको कहता है Taffy को कहता है but Taffy said, "I aren't." यानी मैं उन्हें तकलीफ नहीं दे रही हूँ I only want him to do what I want him to do, and he won't understand. तो वो कहते हैं कि मुझे जो इसको करने को बोलना है, वो क्या है? वो उसे मैं बताने की कोशिश कर रही हूँ, लेकिन इसे ये समझ में नहीं आ रहा है. The person didn't understand what Taffy would like to tell her. Sorry, tell him. Okay? So then don't bother me. तो वो अपना जो भाला है, वो अपने पीठ दूसरी तरफ करके बैठा हुआ है और उसे पता भी नहीं कि कौन सा इंसान वहां पे आया हुआ है सो देन डोंट बॉदर मी यानी वो, वो टेगु में कहता है टैफी से दैट डोंट बॉदर मी यानी मुझे तकलीफ मत दो ओके डोंट डू दिस पर्टिकुलर थिंग एंड सेट टेगु में एंड ही वेंट ऑन पुलिंग एंड स्टेनिंग एट द डियर सीन्यूज विथ हिज माउथ फुल ऑफ लूज एंस सो ऑफकोर्स नाउ विद द हेल्प ऑफ डियर सीन्यूज डियर के जो सीन्यूज होते हैं बाल होते हैं तो उससे बनाए हुई रस्सी से उसे वो क्या कर रहा है अच्छी तरह से उसकी जो पकड़ है या उस सीन्यूज की पकड़ है तो अच्छे करने की वो कोशिश कर रहा है एंड ऑफ कोर्स रिमेंबर ही वुड लाइक टू मेंड हिज स्पेयर एज अर्ली एज पॉसिबल यानी जल्द से जल्द वो क्या करना चाहता है अपना अपना जो भाला है उसे मेंड करने की वो कोशिश कर रहा है सो द स्ट्रेंज ऑफ मैन ए जेन्यून तेवरा ही वॉज so he belongs to that particular tribe and he was genuine it means his intention was totally good this person is the kind hearted person and tevera he was sat down on the grass so that time he sat down on the grass and taffy showed him what her daddy was doing 
so now she's trying to show him that what exactly happened and why they why his dad was actually sitting there to wo dikhane ki koshish kar rahi hai usko ki uske jo daddy hai to wahan pe kya kar rahe hain so the stranger man thought this is a very wonderful child as she stamps her foot at me and she makes faces she must be the daughter of that noble chief who is so great and that he won't take any notice of me so he smiled more politely than ever so now this person didn't understand anything use kuch bhi pata nahi chal raha hai lekin wo ek andaza lagane ki koshish kar raha hai ki ye jo ladki hai meri taraf dekh rahi hai meri taraf muh bana rahi hai to wo sochta hai that this girl must be the daughter of this noble chief it means now tegu mai he consider the tegu mai as the chief of one of the tribe and this person is so great because he won't take any notice of him yani use pata bhi nahi ki piche kon khada hua hai so he smiled more politely because he thought like that that this person is one of the chief or chief person of the tribe and so he gave this smile with more politeness and of course now we have understood that due to the communication gap due to the language language barrier they this person didn't understand the language of the taffy taffy kya karna chahte hai use lagta hai ki that this person should listen her and he should bring the tegu mai's black spare from the home use lagta hai ki is insaan ko uske ghar jana chahiye aur wahan se jo ek black color ka bhala hai wo leke aana chahiye lekin is insaan ko kuch bhi pata nahi chal raha hai due to the language barrier so this is all about the story which is how the first letter was written this is a very interesting kind of the story till now we have discussed that how exactly the problem was arised due to the broken spear and how taffy would like to solve the problem with the help of the stranger okay the person who belongs to the tavera tribe okay so here with this concluding remark i would like to thank you for watching my videos Stay home, stay safe, stay tuned. Thank you everyone. Ah.